Giving you the stories behind the headlines. Mark Simone on WOR. Well, Ann Coulter, the best-selling author and a great columnist. And make sure you follow her on Twitter. It's Ann Coulter at Twitter. Even better, go to Substack. She's got uh, columns and interviews and podcasts, videos, all sorts of stuff. Go to annculter.substack.com. annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Mark Simone? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, now, could you explain how this works with the Democrats? About um, two months ago, they're talking about dumping Kamala Harris off the ticket because she's not strong enough and they need a better vice president. Now, she's the smartest woman on earth. How, how does that work? <laughs> no, it's totally hilarious. There's that, there's that switcheroo. And my favorite one um, is after a, what is it, about a month of denouncing Joe Biden, putting up with his stubbornness. He has to go. He's, he's senile. <laughs> um, we've got to dump him, get out. Okay, that's it. You refuse. Now we're going public, Akeem Jeffries and, and Chuck Schumer. And finally, he has a gun to his head. He has no support in the party, um, in the with the voters, with the elites. Finally withdraws and Oh, he's a hero! He's a hero! The most patriotic, wonderful, amazing! What, what, a, what patriotism he's shown. Um, you know, Nixon must be rolling in his grave. <laughs> wow. But a lot of these <laughs> Democrats, they're very smart Democrats. You know, they're attorneys, they're CEOs. They're, uh, what do yes. they think when they're watching Morning Joe and he says one thing and the next week he says the opposite and the next week he says the opposite? Don't they start to figure out? No, exactly out? right. I mean, I think a lot of people are waking up to... Um, just how the media openly lies and is an arm of the DNC. Um, and as for Kamala, um, I think I've mentioned to you before, I do know a lot of Democrats, um, Democrats who don't know one another, and the whole time she's been vice president, they've all said, oh, she's awful, she can't be the nominee. <laughs> um, and these are many, many different kinds of, of Democrats. When the, during the discussion of, of the demands that Biden pull out, you didn't see anybody talking about Kamala. It was funny how she was just entirely bypassed. That that Emanuel brother said we have to run somebody, um, a Democrat who's won in a red state. Um, you know, Mark Kelly or Roy Cooper, uh, Josh Shapiro, Gretchen Whitmer. Everybody was talking about the, oh Andy Bashir. That was a big one. The donors, the New York Times, and I I discussed this on my. Um, five things you need to know this week podcast which goes out on mondays what was funny on sunday right after biden withdrew um i was reading the new york times immediately for the next for the next hour or so and it was perfectly clear that the new york times did not want it to be kamala they basically brushed it aside go back and read their editorial after after Biden withdrew. And even in the news articles, it would go, you know, how was a new nominee chosen? And the, you, you, it would be paragraph eight before they even mention Kamala. <laughs> They're describing how easy it is for it to be someone other the vice, than the vice president. But then um, black Democratic leaders and, 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 and a lot of women came out across, you know, the Democratic Party and said, no, we're with Kamala, it's Kamala, it's Kamala. So, ha, 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 smart Democrats, that's what you get for creating a party of minorities and women. Well, but you think it's that or you think that at some point they really looked into it and there's no way to rescue the $200 million and give it to another candidate that it, they can only keep the money, keep this going. If this oh, no, 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 no. Like I say, immediately after Biden withdrew, um, the New York Times discussed that in a news article. And uh, um, there's there at that point, and his donations had gone down significantly, um, but there was more than $200 million. The New York Times explained that all of it but the $91 million that had been donated directly to um, Biden slash Harris uh, could not automatically be transferred to another candidate, but there are all kinds of workarounds, like a super PAC that would spend all of its ads promoting whomever the new candidate is. Yeah. Um, plus the fact that, I mean, forget this, the Democrats don't need super PACs, they have the entire media. So uh, Biden's going to go down in history as the worst personnel director in history, from Kim Cheadle to Buttigieg to uh, Kareem Jean, or whatever the hell her name is, to Kamala Harris. All these and don't forget the 200 lower court judges 
uh, more than two thirds of which are women or minorities. Yeah. As I say, the Democratic Party decided it really, really hates white people, especially white men. And uh, sorry, but they've been the brains of the operation for a while. And ha ha, now you're stuck with them. But it's not just just black or white. If you look at the DEI hires from Kim Cheadle to uh, Buttigieg to uh, Harris, they're all incompetent. Why doesn't incompetence bother Democrats? It's all, all, all they want are women, minorities, and gays. And, oh, we have um, also those guys in dresses, so we got the transgenders in there. Um, I'm sorry you don't believe me, but the Democratic Party really, really hates white people. Well, nah, I, don't, I mean, there's a lot of white people in the Democratic Party, but uh, they just hate uh, uh, anything uh, traditional, anything uh, they want to transform. Anything everything. normal, absolutely. Um, I noticed on MSNBC yesterday... I mean, I think, I I love J.D. Vance. I'm thrilled with him as the choice, Um, beyond thrilled. He may be the only only politician I actually trust to give a crap about the left-behind Americans. Um, Be that as it may, I do think he goes a little overboard on the, you know, rewarding rewarding family formation. (laughs) At one point he was suggesting that families, I probably shouldn't bring this up, I love the guy, Uh, he's our vice presidential nominee, but families with children should get a vote for each child they have. Um, And I don't know, this insane um, natalism I just think is is preposterous. You've never had to encourage people to get married and have children. It's a normal human instinct, J.D. You don't need to, to socially engineer rewards for getting married. But it, but it is true that, that married, married people, especially my gender, um, there really is no gender gap when you, when you compare married women um, to married men, or I guess to men generally. It's, it's single women that, that, that are the problem and, and should lead to our reconsidering the 19th Amendment. So anyway, they were going after MSNBC, or, uh, J.D. on MSNBC yesterday for having made fun of the Democratic Party saying it's all childless cat ladies. Um, <laughs> and um, also the, the idea that we have to legislate that people get married and have children, I, I think is nuts. Man, I loved that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, also, Kamala Harris, she did well in California, got elected twice as DA, twice as Attorney General, elected Senator. But as people point out, uh, it's a one-party state Democrats who did well in California don't necessarily do well anywhere else in any election. Yes. So that's a problem yes. she faces. I mean, it's hard to, uh, obviously, it's <laughs> it's hard to predict the future. Um, but the, the danger with Kamala has nothing to do with, with, with Kamala. I think she's an absolute em- embarrassment. Um, but again, we have the um, my gender problem, um, and I, I do worry that you will have a lot of a lot of women voting for oh the first woman president, and voting for abortion rights, which isn't a federal issue. It's so stupid in a federal election to vote on abortion. Um, you may as well decide. Well, I don't like the dog catcher, and that's going to determine my vote for president. Um, in any event, I I, mean, I I may have told you I was I was watching that that magnificent debate between Trump and Biden out in the Hamptons with a bunch of Democrats. And, you know, I was live tweeting, so I wasn't really paying a lot of attention. But at one point, all the gals, and there were a couple of Republicans there, but mostly Democrats, they were all talking about why won't Americans vote for a woman president? It's time we have a woman president. We've got to have a woman president. They were absolutely uniform um, or unanimous in saying we need a woman president. So once I finished my live tweeting, um, you know, I raised my hand and said I'd never vote for a woman for president. <laughs> but I think I'm unusual in that. <laughs> well, it's great to have women in uh, office, but when you pick them just for that reason, you end up with Kim Cheadle, Corrine Jean-Pierre. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that doesn't, that yeah. doesn't work out. Exactly. Right. Well, so what exactly. is... Exactly. When a Margaret Thatcher comes along... You don't have to be told. Oh, great. We have a woman. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Ann Coulter, great stuff. Make sure you follow her on Twitter. Uh, Also get her books. They're very relevant today. Uh, Also, best place is Substack because she does videos, podcasts, interviews, all sorts of stuff. Just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. 
talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye bye. Right, take care. Uh, ooh, everybody, check out the web page. Uh, you know, some very interesting video. I don't know if you saw this. You got to watch this. Yesterday, Chuck Schumer, the most awkward, silly speaker in the world. Watch him uh, try to endorse Kamala Harris and watch it just bomb completely. I noticed when they show this on the news, they had to edit it because they didn't want you to see what really happened. Take a look at this. Now, also, you're not going to believe this video. CBS, supposedly CBS has pulled it down off their website. They put up all the old Stephen Colbert shows, but supposedly this one is missing. It's 2015. Trump is already running for president, and watch him on Colbert. He's a guest on Colbert. Colbert is fawning over him, complimenting him, gushing all over it. Watch this. It's all up on the web page. Go to 710 w o r dot com slash mark seven ten w o r dot com slash mark